Hi everybody, Miss Kelly here. Today's project is going to be a Valentine's Day painting. Okay. So to complete the project, you will need a canvas, okay. some paint, preferably in Valentine's Day colors, like red and pink and white. And you're gonna need something to paint with. Okay. You can use uh, different methods of painting, like Q-tips or cotton balls. Okay. Those are definitely options. You know, that you might have at home that you want to paint with. If you choose to paint with a brush, that is absolutely fine as well. Okay. Just whatever you choose to paint with. Okay. Now these supplies should be in kits that we had available at the library for anybody who was registered. Okay. If you did not get a chance to register and, or, you know, it was full by the time you tried, you can always buy these things even like at a dollar store and paint along with the video later on, okay? There is still plenty of time before Valentine's Day for you to do a nice little Valentine, Valentine's painting, okay? And they make a great little present for somebody you love now on our Valentine's Day, okay? This is an example of the kind of painting we're gonna make, okay? See its little heart, and it has some kind of almost sponge painting around the outside of the heart. That is uh, done with our cotton balls. Okay. This is uh, an example of art using positive and negative space. Okay, so that's you know some of the space has color, and the outside some of the space does not. Uh -huh. Now you are able to do this painting a couple different ways. Okay, that is just one way in my example. All right. So let's get started. Okay, so you're going to want to have your paint, your painting materials. You're going to want to make sure you set down some newspaper or something to keep your art area clean. Okay. You are also going to want to make sure you have some paper towel or something to clean up if you make, if you get a little messy. Okay. So let's get started. Okay. All right. So. We've got our canvas. Okay. First thing we need to, need to do is we have to figure out which way we want our painting to go. Um, you can have it go vertically or horizontally. Okay. That is up to you. Okay. Then we're going to want to grab our contact paper. Okay. Contact paper is kind of cool. It's sticky on one side and it's clear. Okay. So it is going to stick to our canvas when we start working. And you'll kind of see how it uh, plays into making our painting. So first thing, I'm going to fold my contact paper. Okay. Just fold it in half. Okay. Anybody ever made a heart with construction paper this way? All right. Just folding it in half and cutting half a heart. That's what we're doing. Okay. So I'm going to cut up for the top part of my heart. And I'm gonna go around 
until I finish the heart shape. And then I have a heart. Okay. Now for our painting, you can either do it where the heart is your white space, like this. Or you can do it where the heart is the only place that has your color. Okay. Wherever we put our contact paper is where the paint will not go. Okay. So if I put my contact paper on my canvas like this, the only place the paint's going to get is going to be inside the heart. Okay. If I take my heart and stick it on the canvas and paint around it, then the only places that are going to have paint are going to be the outer parts, and you're going to be left with your white heart, like that. Okay. All right. I'm going to I'm going to take the backing off of our contact paper. Okay. You need to bend it a little bit. So it comes off. Okay, I'm going to use the heart. I'm going to make another white heart like I made in that one. In my example. Okay. So I'm going to stick my contact paper heart onto my canvas. Okay. It is keeping my canvas from getting paint wherever the contact paper is. You're gonna to wanna to make sure the edges of your contact paper are pressed down. We don't want any paint to sneak in underneath and get on our white heart, okay? Or if you're doing it the opposite way, you don't want any of it to leak out of your little heart outline. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to open my paint. Okay. All right. So your kits should have red, white, and pink paint. Okay. You should have three cotton balls. Okay, one cotton ball for each color. If you choose to do your painting that way, and you should at, have at least three Q-tips if that's how you're going to be painting. Okay. If you're painting with a brush, then you might want to make sure you have some water to rinse it off in between your colors, okay? But in my example here, I'm going to show you how to do it with the Q-tips and with the cotton balls, okay? For the Q-tips, what I'm gonna do is I'm just dipping them in and I'm dotting them around. It's perfectly fine if I dot on the contact paper because the contact paper is going to come off anyways. Okay. So I'm just going to do some dots of all these different colors. Okay. Do some white dots too. Okay. 
lots of little dots. Okay. And you make a picture out of little dots. That's actually a style of art you might want to learn about. So there you can see I have my little dots from the Q-tip. Okay. If you want to make your whole picture look like that, all you're going to do is you're going to go all around the heart. Okay. So that is an example of doing it with the Q-tips. Okay. You can also make your painting with the cotton balls. Okay. Cotton balls kind of give a nice texture. So it's almost like sponge painting. All right, so I'm dipping my cotton ball and just patting it all around on my canvas. Okay. I've got my pink one, my red one, and my white. Okay. I'm going over the same areas with the different colors. It's okay if they mix a little bit. Right? It'll give your painting some nice texture to have all these different colors on your canvas. And once again, you're going to make sure you go over the contact paper a little bit. Okay. The contact paper will be pulled off, so you do not need to worry. Okay. If you're painting with a brush, you could do solid colors on your painting. Okay. All right. I'm going to paint over my little dots just because I kind of want it to all look the same on the outside. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now, once your canvas is covered as much as you'd like it to be, okay, so you're either going to have your heart with the painting on the outside, or if you did it the opposite way, you'd have a heart with the painting on the inside. That's how I did it, right? You see the overlap there? That's on top of the contact paper. So that is not going to show up in my finished painting, okay? And all you have to do now is you let it dry, okay? Pretty simple, okay? You're gonna let it dry and once it's dry, you're going to peel the contact paper off your canvas and you'll be left with a nice heart. Okay. All right. So that is our craft project for today. Okay. Let me know if you have any questions. Okay. I will post a list of supplies needed in case you're watching this later on and would like to pick up the supplies and do the project. Okay. I would love to see the Valentine's paintings that you guys made. Okay. It always makes me really happy to see what you guys have done during our little virtual programs here. Okay. Some fun coming things coming up at the library are our cookie decorating program on the 22nd. That is a take home project. And I believe there still should be space in that because I just added like 15 new spaces in that one this morning. Okay, so that is on our calendar. Okay, we also have some more fun stuff coming up in March. 
So keep an eye on our Facebook and our online calendar on our website to see uh, you know, all the stuff we have coming up. Okay, we'll continue to provide some virtual stuff, maybe get some in-person going, hopefully, um, as soon as possible, and um, just keep having fun here. Right? Thank you so much for watching. It is always great doing crafts with you guys and projects. Okay, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.